So I was on assignment for the Progressive Magazine, and I discovered what is known as the H-bomb secret. So that was one of the articles I wrote. The government got a hand and <clears throat> got a hold of it and took us to court, censored the article, stopped the publication, and we were in court for about six months. And over the course of six months, we won over the press and the arms control people, and we convinced the government that the information I was writing about was in the public domain anyway, so they dropped the case and we won. My name is Howard Moreland. I've been called a whistleblower, but I was actually just a journalist covering a story. I came in contact with this guy named John Coster Mullen, who's a truck driver, who had written a self-published book on the Hiroshima and Nagasaki bombs. And he had no expertise in science at all, but he, was, uh, he had this weird idea that he would start going to reunions of the people who dropped the bomb, even though he had nothing, he, he wasn't even their generation. But he went there, he started making friends with these people, talking to them. They started telling him what they knew about the Hiroshima bomb and the Nagasaki bomb. When I looked at his evidence, I was convinced and I asked him, I, I said, the Wikipedia articles got it wrong. You want to fix that? And he said, I already tried. I submitted a correction to the Wikipedia article. And this guy named Fast Fission, who we don't know who he is. He's always remained anonymous. He said that this is not credi credible information because you don't have anything you can cite except your own self-published book. And every other book in the world says you're wrong. So I said, well, I think we can fix that, even though I knew nothing about it. This was my introduction to Wikipedia. <clears throat> I said, I think we can fix that. And I got Richard Rhodes, who wrote a uh, Pulitzer Prize winning book, The Making of the Atomic Bomb. Stan Norris, who had the bi written the biography of the uh, um, J Leslie Groves, the general who ran the project, and a couple of other people. And we all wrote into the talk page and told Fast Vision, we've all got published books. We haven't said anything about this topic, but we've read this guy's book and we think he's right and everybody else is wrong. And so Fast Vision then yielded and I wrote the correction. Wikipedia is one of the most amazing institutions I've ever encountered. I, I don't know anything like it. It's a testament to the desire of people to know things and to share information. Despite the fact that from the beginning of time when people started learning how to do stuff, I'm sure they tried to keep it secret. I know people who write books, especially in the nuclear weapons field. Largely they're professors or people who are working at think tanks. You know, they have a salary. They write these books. The books don't make any money. They're read by very few people. But they write the book, they give a seminar, but the Wikipedia article that I wrote on nuclear weapon design gets, I think the last time I looked at it, something like 400 hits a day. Nobody's book gets that much publicity. And I don't get any money for it, but I produce this information and somehow it's getting out there and people are looking at it. So that's the satisfaction of being a writer whose work is read.